Good morning, my friends. So today we are going to do Google Maps. Now, Google Maps works very closely with Google Earth, so it's a very cool app, and I don't think most people realize what a neat storytelling device it is. It's pretty amazing, and so that's what we're going to do today. You are going to embed your perfect vacation into a Google Map. Now, the cool thing about this is this is one of the best ways and funnest ways to do a interactive book report, to do a story, and you could take your whole family on this little adventure. And the nice thing is you can share it with just the people you want to, or you can keep it for yourself as a private map. So we're gonna start out today by going into your new tab. All of your other apps and tabs are closed, and you are going to type in my maps. Now you see up at the top it says My Maps Google, and you just click on that. And right there at the top, Google My Maps. This probably will take you to a gray field. You should already be logged into Chrome by now, and you should stay in. But for right now, you probably have nothing. But what you will have is a place to bookmark. So what I do want you to do is I want you to bookmark that. And if you hit the little edit button down at the bottom, you'll see that it just saves as my maps and that's fine. That's all we need to do, but we want to have that bookmark so we can come back to it. And we're going to create a new map. So today we're going to do a little practice map because I find that as I give everyone the opportunity to make a map, the very first thing they want to do if we create a new map is they want to find their house and they want to find their school. Now, if you're map pulls up like this, that's fine. It may also ask you, allow Google Maps your location. And for this instance, I would say yes, you can go ahead and do that. Now, if it gives you this whole map of the United States, because it does recognize that we're in the United States, you can just go up to the search field and you can type Hughes Middle. And as soon as you start typing it, it pops up there and we're gonna click on it and it takes you to Hughes Middle School. You will notice that the little pin right here is green. That means that is a Google pin. You can't change that. You can't do anything to that pin. That is a Google pin. You will also notice as soon as we type that in, we get this layer information over here on the side. Now, what I do want you to do is I want you to come up here before we do anything else and we are going to go into this untitled map area and we are gonna change it to test map, all right? Test with a capital M. And then we're gonna do the same thing, space, hyphen, space, and your last name. All right, and under description, we're just going to say, this is my test map. Period. Get rid of your keyboard. And then we hit save. Now you'll notice it says test map with your last name. Down here it has untitled layer. And we're not going to do anything with that just yet. But you'll notice there's no pins or information below this. There's nothing there. We've just done a search for Hughes Middle School. All right. And I just closed that out. Oops. But I still see on the map. I'm going to see Hughes Middle School. And if we take Hughes Middle School, we're going to zoom in. And as you zoom in, you're going to notice that the buildings start to appear. All right. Now, usually you would know exactly where you were. You would know that this is the gym and over here is my room. So the front office and we're going to zoom in that right over here. If you go in the front gate right here, you see that there's a skylight over the garden and there's a skylight next to the multi-purpose room. And this room right here is my room. So, because this is the choir room and this room is Mr. Hollingshead's H1. So what we are going to do right now is you are going to click on this pin button. You're going to tap on that. And then you are going to right in the middle of my room, go tap. 
and it will say 0.1. You'll notice this is blue. That means that's a pin that you've created. And you'll also notice over on the legend here that it says 0.1. So we're going to tap in that again, and we're going to change it to Mr. Period H period. And then you're going to say, this is where I would have learned if not for COVID-19. All right. Period. Okay. So there we have a description of that point, Mr. H. And then we can save right now. Now you'll notice over here, it says Mr. H, but our layer is still untitled and we're going to leave it there for just a minute. What I want to show you is these pins, it's just so cool, but these pins right here are modifiable. And so the cool part about that is we have all these options here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the pin. And we're just going to change the color of that pin to, let's say, purple. And then down here at the bottom, you see where it has these icons. The default is that little pin. But we're going to click on more icons. And if you come in here, you can do a search about different places. You can do a, actually a search for school, but if you type in school, it doesn't really show up anything cool. But I do want to notice that when you hit places down here, right at the bottom, you'll see what looks like a little schoolhouse. So we're gonna click on that little schoolhouse and we're gonna hit okay. So right there, we have something that looks like a schoolhouse or a circus tent, but I think it's a schoolhouse. So we'll just say that that's a schoolhouse and it is purple. It also changed over here in the legend and right here. So that's very cool. You like that? Now, we can also add a picture here. Right over here where you see the picture, we're going to tap on that and we're going to add image. And we have these options. We can upload, we can take a picture on a webcam, we can do a URL, we can look at our photos or from Google Drive. And if we click on more, we can actually go to Google image search. And right here, we're just going to type in Hughes Middle. I'm going to hit return. And look at that. Right there is our little Highlander. And we're going to select it. Now we've attached a picture to our school. And we hit save. All right. Now, I know what you guys are chomping at the bit to do. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to just, we didn't delete it. It'll appear, but if the upper corner, we can just minimize what's right there. So what we want to do next is I know everyone wants to find their house. Easy way to find your house is to come up here, go in your search field and type your address. Okay. So we could just come up here, type your address, or you can actually just walk home and click it. I think it's much easier to find your address. Nice thing is it will auto-correct. Look at that, Foothill Boulevard right there. Okay, so there's another little green pin. Remember what the green means. It means that that is a pin that you cannot modify, but you can zoom in on it, and you can click pin, and you can just drop a pin right there. Okay, and then we say my home. Please notice that we are capitalizing. This is where my school now. Not very proper grammar, but kind of fun. And I think it's nice. So, we're going to go ahead and, and you'll notice I don't have a lot of options. So we're going to go ahead and just hit save. 
Now I have a whole bunch of different options. First thing we're going to do is we are going to click on the pin. We are going to pick our favorite color, which I am a kind of a dark blue kind of guy myself. And we're going to click on more icons. And you can put whatever you want here. I think I love palm trees. So I'm going to choose a little palm tree. Ah, that's lovely. So we're going to do that. And then you are going to close out of that. And we're going to add a picture and we can go to your photos. And of course I have all of these little photos. I don't know if I have anything worth picturing for me. Oh, there's my son. There we go. <laughs> I like that. We're going to take that one. All right, there we go. It's a lovely picture of my son getting ready for Nights on Broadway in his 80s attire. And we're going to hit save. All right, now look, I have two pins. I have two locations. I have my home right there and I have my school. All right, so if I zoom out, I should be able to see both locations. There we go, over there. Now you'll notice I have a green pin still. And in the legend, you can see I have all my searches and they keep those saved until I delete them. Now, you may have taken a little bit of time to have to find that. And so if you have to go find your house, just pause the video, find your house, go through those steps. And then we're going to start the video again, because our next step is we're going to do directions. OK, so welcome back. Those of you who paused. We are going to start with our home location. And we are going to come up here and you see where it says this little splitting arrow. That is a route option. Whoops. But we're going to click the route option. And we're going to click in here. And the cool thing is if I go my, my home is going to pop up right there and I'm going to click my home. And then we're going to say Mr. H and look, it pops up right there. Those pins, because they are on my current map, automatically pop up at the top of your options because you've created those pins. Now, this is automatically going to give me a driving route. And if I click on driving, I can change it to walking or biking or whatever I want to do. Okay. Now, the cool thing about this is this is a modifiable map. And so what if I say, oh, I do not love watching walking along foothill in the morning because it's so busy. What I want to do is I want to change that up just a little bit and I want to grab my line and I want to move it over here because I want to walk down Dodge instead. And you see now I've created that new little point on there. And if I want to, I can just grab that point again and just move it back over here to foothill. Or maybe you say you have to pick up a friend on the way to school who lives right there. All right. Do you see how that works? It is so cool. All right. So you just pick your route and you can modify it however you want. But that's your route to school. So if you say, oh, I have a friend who's over here and we have to pick them up in the morning, you can do that. But right here, you'll notice that it says directions from my home to Mr. H. Okay. So that's our first step. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to rename this untitled layer and I'm going to name it home to school. Oops. Except I want to capitalize. Home to school and hit save. All right, my friends. So here we have home to school. You've titled it. You've got all of that information on it. Now, all I need you to do for today is I'm going to have you take a screenshot. Okay. And then what do I do with that screenshot? Do I load it right into classroom? No, I heard some of you actually yell because you're learning. We don't go to classroom. We go to 
drive. And we open up our P7 elective, which I'm going to find it this time. I will. P7. I will find it. You guys probably saw it already, didn't you? Check it out. And oh, P7. It moved. I must have added a folder. Okay. I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to hit upload. Photos and videos. Since it's the last one I took under recents, there it is right there. And I hit upload. All right. Now, can I just leave it like that? Image, bloody, bloody, bloody. No. We're going to call this rename. We're going to leave the .png. You notice it doesn't highlight the PNG. That file extension lets the computer know that that is a picture file. So we are just going to start typing. We don't even have to delete. Once it's highlighted, we can just start typing. And we're going to call this test map. And then space hyphen space and your last name. And then rename. What's our next step? You guys know your next step. We go to Google Classroom to today's assignment and we upload that. Now, I do want to show you really quickly that this is a working map. And if your legend disappears, you just have to tap on the legend to see everything on it. Okay. Well, if I could do that. So you tap on legend, it'll show everything. Now, it's very cool, it's very nifty, but this is not the map you are going to see. If you send this to somebody, oh, come on. Where's my little, there it is. Right there, it says preview, and I'm gonna tap on the preview if it loves me, which it seems to not still love me. So we're gonna hit preview. And this is what it looks like when you send it to somebody. And if somebody wants to change the view, you can actually change the view to <gasps> satellite. And if I tap on each of those items, come now. Look what it does over here on the side. It opens up the picture that I had. And it highlights it on the map. Okay. Oh, what happened to my little picture? There it is. Okay. So there's my Highlander picture. If I want to see it, I can do that. And the cool thing is the Google Maps will actually let you take routes and things. So this is what it, people will see when you send it to them. Now, tomorrow, well, next time we meet on Tuesday, we are going to start plotting the points of your perfect vacation. We're going to start with your airport that you took off from. So LAX or John Wayne or wherever you took off from. So I really hope you guys followed my directions and actually used real locations. Remember I told you that that was really important that you have real locations because this is how we do that. And I will show you how we embed those pictures, which you've already downloaded your slides. And we're going to copy and paste your speaker notes into the description field. So this is going to be very neat. It's going to be a little bit of work. But by the time you are all finished, you will have a perfect vacation that you can share with your whole family. We can even put the video that you made into the map. Okay. So this is your assignment for today. Remember, all you need to do is add those points right here, home, school, Mr. H, home, and you're going to do directions to the two and a screenshot showing me your legend. Make sure I can see your legend here, okay? And then you're going to turn that in today. All right, easy peasy. You guys have a fabulous weekend. Play around with this. It is so much fun. We can even click over here. We could change the base map if we wanted to to anything. Look at that. We could even work in a satellite view. I think it's a little bit easier, honestly, to work in this map view. But you can work in a satellite view. But play around with it a bit today. Enjoy yourselves. I will talk to you later.